The year 2020 has come and gone, not without many lessons for people across the globe. Most especially as it was a year the world experienced COVID-19 pandemic that led to the death of millions of people. As part of appraising the year, the National Public Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Kola Ologbondio, accused the APC-led federal government of causing the hardship Nigerians experienced in the year, citing increasing spate of kidnapping and banditry. We have as a party catalogue the failures of this government in the year 2020. And in whose hands Nigerians place their faith, abandoning the people and leaving them at the mercy of bandits, kidnappers, armed robbers, vandals, without help coming from anywhere. It is lamentable that we had, as a people, had to suffer untold hardship economically under the All Progressive Congress of President Muhammad Buhari. Olok Bodion further accused the government of looting the nation's foreign reserve. And even in circumstances where we were told that the government was being of help, we discovered the government was carrying cash in an economy where our party, when we are in government, has set up a machinery that reduced our economy to a cashless economy. Government was carrying about cash and displaying cash like wares in the marketplace. On the issue of the second wave of COVID-19, the PDP spokesman advocated ways to prevent another lockdown in 2021. I believe that with the second wave, the presidential task force should draw from the experience of what happened in the first wave in order to be able to guide Nigerians aright. We do not need to totally absorb the methodology of the development of the sorry of the developed countries. Because it might not suit us. But we should be able to sit down as a people and fashion out a process that will suit our own purposes. President Muhammad Buhari in his New Year broadcast says COVID-19 is the reason behind most of the hardship Nigerian experience in the year 2020. Al-Hasam Bala, ITV News, Abuja.